Hi guys, welcome back to Baldy Make Stuff, the channel for Meccano building. This is Cole's Mobile Crane Part 7, the building the differential, and this is the short version as opposed to the one that we do, the full one that's now along, which was the previous video. So this is to bring you up to date with what I've been doing on it. Uh, first of all, to apologise for the delay in getting these videos out. When this started off, it was supposed to be a weekly project and life has gone the way and it's not quite been that. And I think realistically, this has turned into more of an as and when project that I'll try and keep reasonably frequent, but I'm not going to commit to it being on a weekly basis. Anyway, what we've actually done, if you remember this, we found these uh, caps here to go on the end of the wheels. I wasn't sure where the work found that. So we've got those on that side and that side. So we've now got a front that looks all right. It's steering okay. Quite pleased with that. And what we've then got, we made up the differential that's going to go on there. Um, and there, and there you go. I'm sure a lot of you have seen and made up differentials yourself before, but for those who don't know what a differential is, it's essentially a mechanism so that um, axles can revolve independently or, or have wheels on an axle can revolve independently if they have to go at different speeds. Normally when you're going around a corner, the vehicle that's on the side that's on the tighter radius does a, a shorter distance than the one that's on the longer radius. Probably doesn't make any sense the way I'm describing it, but you can go on YouTube and find better videos that talk about how you're doing it. Anyway, what you sometimes need is for one side of a one wheel on one side to be able to go at a different speed to one side to the other side. So what happens, you've got that, like that, and those axles are both revolving at the same time. But if that one stops, this axle still keeps on going with this mechanism. You see it moving and similarly if that axle gets stopped this axle can still keep on going independently and if neither of them are being stopped then both axles will go at the same time as i say i'm sure this isn't a new concept to a lot of you but to those who are that's how a differential works there's many differentials in meccano history the first one i made up was designed by tony james for the sliding bed recovery truck and this is the one that he's got for this particular model, which I think is very similar to the one that's described in the Meccano mechanisms book from the uh, 20s, to be honest with you. But there's only so many ways you can make a wheel, I guess. So anyway, that's what the biggest part of the last video was about, was about making these up. They can be quite tricky, although this has come together reasonably well. And um, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure there'll be some adjustment needed when it becomes part of the vehicle itself. But yeah, that's what we've got so far. I look forward to seeing you next time round. Hopefully not a month away. I'll try and get something done quicker than that. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you next time round. Cheers. Bye.